the meantime, just a reminder, everyone, please, to ensure that you keep your mute buttons muted, <laughs> um, your, your monitors <coughs> muted while someone else is speaking. Um, and if you would like to ask a question, please put your request on the chat panel and then we'll take it from there. We'll start with Ken, followed by Fidoz. And Thank Lloyd. You, <laughs> Go ahead, Ken. Yeah, sorry, thanks. Uh, hi, Sarah. Congratulations. Very well done. Hello, Ken. Thank you very um, much. It, yeah, it, 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 it was quite an amazing turnaround today uh, for the team. Um, <laughs> could you just chat to us about how much of that was mental? Because you guys, uh, you especially, seem to come up with a very definite game plan today. There seemed to be a lot more clarity and, and sharpness and intensity uh, about the batting. I think a lot's been said over the last um, week and a bit uh, in terms of our preparation and, and obviously the first test. So, yeah, we had to basically, you know, like I mentioned in the press conference uh, earlier this week, we had to kind of, you know, back against the walls, we have to show up and, and deliver a punch. And um, it's all down to basics. I think if we just, if we stick to our basics, you know, you're, you're going to get it right more often than not. So to come out the way we did today, you know, as a team and, and the guys that, that batted today, it's just, you know, it's obviously uplifting um, for us going forward in the next four days. Lloyd, then for those. <coughs> Thanks, that's how Sorrel and, and very well batted. Thank you. Uh, I know on TV you spoke about how much this means uh, for the team, and that's obviously the most important thing. But just if you could take a moment to just talk about it on a personal level, um, you know, the years of, of piling on runs at domestic cricket level, um, <laughs> does there come a point where you think to yourself, um, you know, geez, may, may, maybe my chance isn't going to come, um, you know, now that it has come and this has happened, just how much does this day mean to you? Yeah, obviously it's a, it's a very special day. Um, you know, I, I must say, probably 24 months ago, I probably didn't think I'd be in 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 a position to be even close to a South African Test squad. So, you know, to sit here today with a, a Test hundred behind your name is extremely special. Um, I think it's more special having gone through all the the hard yards over the years, and you're know, taking learnings uh, along those years and you know implementing them, you know, with the squad over the last year. So. Just like you said, I know team comes first. Um, I'm very, very happy. You know, we can turn things around uh, after the first test. Good us. Hi, uh, Well batted. Thank uh, you. So I just want to ask you a little bit about um, the emotions that you had. I mean, first of all, you're batting. You're batting with the guy, I suppose, that you've replaced at the top of the order, and, and he was with you when you got to hundred. And then also, I understand there's a member of the family that you, you haven't seen for a long time who's, who's there watching you today. So uh, what was that like, just those two contrasting emotions and seeing your sister again, I guess? Yeah, it's obviously always special batting with, um, well, I haven't done it with, with Aiden just yet, but, you know, having batted with, with Dean as well and now batting with Aiden today, getting that 100 with him, it was you know, extremely special. You know, they're two good guys. Two guys that have um, taken me under their wing and yeah, helped me through this journey the last year. So yeah, <clears throat> lovely to be there, out there with them. And then yeah, lovely to um, celebrate and and get that hundred um, in front of a bit of family. Um, my sister, yeah, she lives here in in um, New Zealand. <clears throat> Sorry, I put a lump in my throat. Yeah, um, yeah, and she's um, she's been through a tough time here. So yeah, nice to have something for her to smile about. Stuart, and then can you uh, Hi. Um, hi, Saro. Congratulations. Um, Thank you. I just want to go back to something you mentioned at, at the toss. Uh, sorry, at, at post, at the, the briefing you had on the field where you spoke about the toss and being surprised by the fact that Dean chose, chose the back. <coughs> Can you outline the timeline for that? I mean, when did he say, well, if I win the toss, this is what I'm going to do? Or did he, you know, make it, make, make it clear to you only after the coin had gone up? No, no, no. He had told me, um, you know, in the in the warm up, you know, just just be ready because this is what we're going to do. So I had time to prepare, um, you know, like all of us, everyone, you know, everyone was on the same on the same page. It's not like it was just after the toss that I found out. Um, so I was definitely there was definitely a clear mindset going into today. Um, before I went in bat, so yeah, definitely, 
definitely wasn't sprung onto me last minute. Um, so I had I had some time to to think about things and um, yeah. Can you sell? Um, thank you very much. Um, good day, everyone. Um, uh, SJ, when you look at how today panned out, you lost. You get at the time despite um betting well, but we would you say how, how would you say that today's uh, is poised from uh, uh, from a, from a match and series perspective? Yeah, obviously not ideal losing uh, losing the, those two wickets um, myself and, and Aiden um, at that at that time. You know, I think we put the team, especially myself, I put the team under a bit of pressure there at the end, and Joe, just thankful that um, you know Rassi and and Temba could fight through unscathed at the end there. So. I think the match is well poised at, at this stage. Um, we've got a world-class left-arm spinner in our side um, who I'm sure will, will come into this game um, and will be a player of vital, vital role come day five, um, day four. So I think it's, yeah, I think we probably um, on top at the moment. For those, Lloyd, and then we'll move on to Afrikaans. <coughs> Uh, in the New Zealand press conference, uh, Shane Jameson was saying that the wind, he thinks, played quite a big role in, first of all, the, the edges not carrying and then also just making it really tough to bowl from the one end. Uh, was that your experience of it? And, and would you agree that the, the surface is uh, not playing the way it did in the first test? Yeah, obviously we experienced a bit of wind in, in the first game, but um, I think the wind, yeah, it, it played a role today. Um, you know, the ball swung throughout the whole day because of that wind coming from the one side of the ground. So it was obviously a bit tricky for us as batters also in your in your stance. You can get blown over, touch. Um, so yeah, it, I, I must say it's obviously tricky for bowler running into ball and it was tricky for us as batters. So I think it evens out the playing field a bit. So, uh, we just go back to that, uh, to the toss and the importance of the toss. I mean, just when your captain, you know, given that you were two hundred and ten for twenty in the in the last test, um, you know, when you, when your skipper wins the toss on on the, on the same uh, ground and, and then then to bat, I mean, does that send the right message of positivity and intent to to the rest of the team? Do you think? Yeah. Listen, we um, we had to to obviously um, you know win a win a test match. We want to be one all leaving uh, leaving the shores here. So. It, you've got a you've got a man up, you've got a front up, and um, I think that's what we did today. So yeah, you can you can think about the last test, but um, the last test is the last test. It's a new test, um, new energies, um, and we've got a goal in mind. And you know, if that means you've got to bat first on a greenish wicket or a wicket that does something, that's so be it. Um, you know, that's the the nature of this game. Um, and like I said, we've got a goal in mind, and if that's how we're going to win a test match, that's what we'll do. Sorry, we'll have Pila and then um, Afrikaans. <coughs> Thanks, Pokos. Um, so, firstly, congratulations and well done on your Test 100. Thank you very much. I just want to go back to something that probably <coughs> Peter Milan said in his debut um, Test match, and he said that you know most of the pressure comes from domestic cricket and having to go to the Diamond Oval and when no one is actually watching anything <laughs> uh, that you're doing. Um, and then stepping up into international cricket where you it's more about making sure that you tick the boxes of your preparation. Do you feel the same about making the tr transition from domestic cricket into international stage? Yeah, it's, um, I mean, it is, it is what it is. Um, you've got to get on with it at domestic cricket and um, you've got to prepare yourself, you know, whether it's your first year domestic cricket or your sixth year or tenth year domestic cricket, you've got to make sure that you prepare yourself uh, for international cricket, um, if that's if that's what you want to do, if that's if that's why you play cricket and you want to play international cricket, you know you've got to front up and and show up every single day, trying to get better to to make sure that when you do get a chance to play international cricket, that you're ready. Um, and I'm just obviously very fortunate that I had a year to um, to kind of settle into the into the team or into the squad, um, and and could kind of find my feet pre preparation wise, um, you know, kind of find out what it what it needs or what it takes to. Um, you know, to kind of, you know, do do half decently or do well at this level. So that's just the help from teammates. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just the preparation uh, and fronting up is, is key. Dennis? Oh, dear. I saw all of my luck. Um, Bye, thank you. As you can't even go to the Engels. No, I'm going to try my best to try. Cool. Um, I wanted 
då är det jag men de har väl också bra fan i Lanka och Big Blast och Kutini också spelat 2008 hade jag jag det bit gemaakt. Det är alltid ett stadion vad jag amper precis gedenk att jag ser det sen rart för mig ni jag 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 förstår jag jag blir nog så långt men jag 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 mår inte alls bra och när i nationella spant i ni är det vet jag inte om upp då en ehm en en din väl vet jag du förstår det då inte på kom om basis nu jag drömmer inte bara Ja, dat het zeker zo. Ik zal zeggen zo 28 maanden terug het ik het het hier mijn kop gegaan. Waar ja, denk het maar net niet gegaan zoals dat ik wel gehad het moet gaan moest gaan is. Zo ja, ik was ik ik was zeker op de weg om te zeggen luister ik is ik is klaar en weet ik het dankzij mijn ouders let mij een beetje meer encourage als ik die Engelse woord kan gebruiken. En ik het, ja, ik het de sports performance psychologist begin zien in Durban. En ja, ons het een beetje gewerkt net aan mijn aan mijn mental well-being en en goed zo dat. Zo ja, dat 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 was maar zeker die 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 turning point voor mij. Daar is daarom zo 28 maanden terug. En dat is maar ja, niet die finale product nie, maar en ik probeer nog steeds aan mijzelf werken, mijn mental wealth, health, jammer. Zo. Ja, die jaren wat ik gesacrificed het, alle jaren, ik kan niet, ja, ik kon het niet opgeven niet. En ja, dankzij mijn ouders en die sportpsychologist, ja, zit ik naar hier vandaag. Is dat alles? Ja, dat is niet alleen. Kan ik, kan ik even nog een ander iets? Ja, please, go, go for it. Um, is 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 mental health in in mental health well-being is dit is dit voor jou iets wat wat veel belangrijk is denk je dat wordt genoeg aandacht aan geskink in in Zuid-Afrikaanse cricket? Nee, ja, ik denk dat ik het zo een interview gehad, zeg ik zo een jaar terug of zo, en ik het ik het gemengd dat ik denk je nou is spandeer genoeg tijd aan nee, want Weet paar mensen het verschillende kom van verschillende culturen in situaties in hun leven en je weet wanneer je ingegooid is in die diepkant weet je niet misschien hoe met dat hier niet zo. Ik denk het is een dat is een goede ding wat ons nog steeds beter kan met beter kan wees in 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 zuid Afrika niet net in niet net in cricket nie. Zo ja voor mij is dat een goede ding en ja elke dag is maar een klein stapje of een klein proces wat ik wat ik meer Um, deal um, um, to be a bit better to talk to Thanks, um, and Sarah, can you just repeat that in English for us, please? Um, just the last questions, the last two questions from from Tienes. I can't even remember the second to last one. <laughs> Tienes, ask your question, <coughs> your your first question, please, in English, just so that everyone can get the English point of view. Sorry. Okay, uh, that's uh, fine. Uh, was there ever was there ever a time in, in your career where you um, considered to to give mm. up cricket and and what was the turning point and then just the second one um, your views on the importance of mental health awareness in in South Africa? Yeah, so about twenty eight months ago, um, it it did cross my mind. It went through my mind, and I was probably a, a phone call away of of, of calling it quits. Um, but obviously, I had the huge support um, when I sat down with my family. Um, my parents, they you know, kind of picked me up, saw, uh, saw a sports performance uh, psychologist, and yeah, we worked through it um, daily. Um, it, was, it, was a, a, it was a hard slog, if I can call it that, um, to try to get motivated again to, to kind of give my best um, after, after wanting to give up. Um, you know, all the, hard year, all the years of hard work, um, you know, all the hard slogging, um, that I had to to do um, at semi-professional level, at franchise level, um, yeah, felt felt pointless and, and worthless at, at one stage. So, yeah, obviously, luckily, um, yeah, I'm very fortunate to to have worked with a uh, sports performance psychologist, um, and yeah, to have the support of my parents during that time was also incredible, and it's basically what motivates me now. And the importance of. Um looking after your mental well-being and mental health awareness in South Africa? Yeah, I think it's a big thing. I don't think we focus on it enough in South Africa, not just in cricket, but I think in all sports. I might be mistaken, but from what I've spoken to other sports sportsmen, I think it's something that's lacking. And just in general, a laugh. I think as a 
man or, or, or a guy, it's kind of frowned upon if you show a bit of uh, mental weakness or a bit of softness. Um, so yeah, I think there's a lot of work still to be done. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm in that process every day, every week, every month, um, where, where I'm trying to better my uh, mental health, wealth um, and well-being. It's, it's a big part of my life and probably will be f for a long time. Thanks very much, everyone, for joining us. And